okay so I really am stupid okay there was a door in, uh, in Louis's room so I have to go all the way back to it uh, yes it's right here <coughs> so this one will be short because I saw that there was mm, there was not a lot of things after that but still I had to be sure not spinning around like a like a record uh, until the hours passed and the next fi in the <laughs> in the last video last like <laughs> five minutes no 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 okay let's go So yeah, Louis dreamt about a handful queen or beautiful prince, so basically, there we go. It would be great if you walk even slower, I did, you know? Fuck! Where's the running button? It's not here, it's here. So there's a door. I didn't see that this one I guess where was it oh here okay so Louis's funeral my mom told me to start packing she waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Mm, that's not, sure not nice. Easier or harder. That's definitely harder. I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. You do? That's cool for you, I guess. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. What happened? Don't tell me my mom is dead too. That would suck. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last. I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. That 
thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know this story. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you. But there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Oh. God, it smelled awful. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Well, it's straight away, Edie. What are you talking about? I got turned around. Excuse me, Rock, you're on my way. For a while, I wandered. I started seeing things. Oh, hi. Oh, it's Arthur. Bye, Arthur. <laughs> things I'd forgotten had ever existed. When I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Yeah, that's... that's it, I guess. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Eat it. Mom, you're gonna rip it. Let go. I kicked and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. What? I want to know. Mom. I sorry. never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Gone like she was dead. After that, we moved around a lot. Mm. We both tried to make the best of it. Ooh, and I quit. Ooh, she always like she always have fingerless gloves. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest mom? happened pretty quickly. Oh, she did die. Don't finish. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. Hmm. And then I was alone. Last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. About who? I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. Oh, if we live baby. forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. 
This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Oh. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. Oh, in, in that sense, okay. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh, so she did die. Maybe by, by, I don't know the, the word, the verb in English, but having a baby. I think that's it. Yep, I think that's it. I did miss some of them. Fuck. Well. Oh, they're all children. What the hell? <laughs> I just got a trophy, but I wonder where the others are. Maybe I'll do it once again. I think I'll do it once again. Because I missed some of them. I missed ED and I missed another one. I don't remember which one. Oh! I missed ED and Dawn. Oh, replay a story. That's interesting. So, yeah. Yes. I didn't see this one. I didn't see this one and the down one. Okay, let's go. I'll do that and... That's cool, that's cool. I don't have to do the game again. <laughs> Oh, that this one, okay. So I just... So I just uh, replay ED then. I wonder what happens if you click on Edith. I'll go see that right after. What? That's the same? Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to find them until the end. I think that's it. Mm. <laughs> what? What happened if I choose ED? I think those, those three are the same. That's the beginning. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Okay. So I'll just replay Louis to have the handsome prince. <laughs> 
No, I'm just kidding. This will be it. I thought I was going to do it again to have the, the missing two, but in fact you just have them when you finish the game. That's... That makes sense, actually. But yeah. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Oh. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Yes, yeah, so they are half Indian, but I don't care. Pfft. No, that's it for Edith Finch. This was cool. That was really strange, but really cool too. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, see. So that's it. Bye.